All right, we got a couple today we'll go through. Did you see my mug? He put a ring on it. What's up everybody? My name is Sawyer Hartman and today for the first time I am joined by my fiance, Angelique Cooper. Um, sorry, I'm just smiling. We are engaged. You probably saw my last video uh, proposing, putting a ring on it. Finally, after seven and a half years. And uh, today we're gonna do a QA. and a You guys send in hundreds of questions. So um, many questions. Good questions on Instagram. So we've got like 20 or so of them and we just wanted to answer all your questions uh, while we are in fact engaged. engaged. So that's one less question you'll ever have to ask us again. The first one being, are y'all going to get married in Hawaii or Utah? We are considering both. One of the things about Hawaii is it's really expensive to get everyone here. And so we're just trying to decide where we can get most of our family. Um, Hawaii is first choice, but Utah is beautiful. We do love Yellowstone, the show. So. We, we also have like older people in our family. So getting people to Hawaii is one kind of hard to do. But secondly, it's also extremely expensive yeah. to like figure out how to fly a hundred people here and put them up in a hotel. Um, probably a couple hundred thousand dollars which you know unless we're doing a gofundme i don't really know that we haven't even gotten there yet yeah um that's for another day is there going to be a wedding video as in like documenting our wedding yeah yeah of course. um that's i mean a lot of what we you do. think we would do that to you we'd make you <laughs> wait around seven eight years and then just completely ghost you on it yeah no there's gonna be a wedding video for sure i love home videos and i want that documented for sure Oh, this is a good one. It said, you mentioned the meaning behind the ring, but we didn't get the deets, Laura Benton. Um, that'll be for a whole, we'll give you, we'll give you a good look. We'll put it on screen right here, but uh, we're going to make an entire video about not only what the ring means, but like the details. I, girls have been asking me for like what color cut clarity. The, oh, wow. They want, they it, want all. it all. Yeah, they want to know. I don't even know these um, <laughs> So that'll be coming soon. Um, but we did get it from jamesallen.com. Um, they sponsored our engagement and provided us with this ring. So, it, wow. uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you um, it is a dream come true. And yeah, we're stoked to make that video. This is one for you. What is the wedding theme color? Mariah wants to know. Um, so I just want something really. I'm guessing it's white. It's going to be white, <laughs> um, white and natural tones and textures. Um, I just really want it to be simple, clean and classy and elegant. Um, so I'm going to try to stick around there. Pretty um, much the color palette of this dog <laughs> is pretty much what I'm imagining the wedding is going to be. Pretty much. Um, so yeah, especially with it being in Hawaii, it'll be really green and tropical in the background. And then the color of the theme will be white and clean and yeah. That's probably it. This is one. This is one for you. Um, were you actually surprised about the proposal? Yeah. yeah about yeah. the proposal. Yeah, about the proposal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I actually was surprised. So we have been talking about it. So I knew at some point it would be happening. I just didn't know how or when he was going to actually do it. So it was completely a surprise. The only thing I did think, thought, the only thought I had was. If Julia came in town, I was like, oh, that'd be a good time to do it. But he gave no inclination that that was happening. Well, yeah, it was it was hard because like the most important thing to me about the engagement, besides you saying yes, <laughs> was surprising you and kind of giving you that. And I had waited so long. It was kind of like, what's he going to do it? Um, but she's a truffle pig, as I stated so humbly in the engagement video. And she'd been sniffing it out. Right. Um, yeah. There's another question later on we'll get to about where I had to hide it because I was afraid just like a kid with presents, you'd be shaking every box in the house and trying to figure out where this thing was. I did do that as a kid for Christmas presents. So. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Here's one. Have you felt now that you're engaged, there's been a sense of urgency to get married? Uh, well, kind of, yeah, f yeah, a little bit, um, not so much. People were bugging me for years to get engaged, like not only, viewers, yeah. my family, my oh. friends, her family and friends. Um, it's mostly interesting. It's like when you tell people you're engaged now, they're like, oh, cool. When's the wedding? And you're like, can't you just say thank you or Wait. congratulations? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> can't you just say thank you? <laughs> can't you just say congratulations? And like, we'll get to it, you know? 
I, I, yeah, I totally feel that. I feel like now that it's here, I definitely don't want to like take another seven years to get married. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm <laughs> kidding. But no, I, I definitely want it to be in the near future. But it's kind of, yeah, the day of our engagement, my Nana was cute. She was like, so did you plan your whole wedding? I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's only been like four hours, Nana. <laughs> so yeah, we'll take our time, but we do want to get it going. This one's for you. Oh, okay. What made you decide to propose now versus earlier in the relationship? Okay, sorry, vulnerability just like hit me and I froze. Um, I would say like I was just trying to make sure it was right. Uh, but honestly, I think um, I, my parents got divorced when I was a kid. Like a lot of people can probably uh, like side with me on this one. Um, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. Like I know I can't control if that happens, but I felt like I could give myself the best benefit of the doubt, which is instead of just being like, I love this person, I'm going to marry them. I like tested against it for years. Like I love them, but, and I, I waited to see if the butt became big enough that I didn't want to be with you. And it didn't. Okay. Um, so I was like, <laughs> it was just like, you know, a really long test drive. And I was very happy with my vehicle. Oh, good. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Well, it's yours now. Um, I actually enjoyed um, us taking our time. Like for a minute, I was like, oh my gosh, is he ever going to propose? But as we grew together like through those seven years I I felt more confident in our decision it wasn't like oh are we making the right decision is he gonna propose oh, I had there were so many questions now it's like we can both look at each other and go we want to be married mm -hmm. and that's a very powerful thing because you always question is this the right thing and we are on the same page and that's very helpful <laughs> next question is favorite thing about each other I'll let you start first because I like hearing great things about me Oh, subtle. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I need the confidence. Give it to me. This is this is a tough one. I love so many things about you. Fine. Your nurturing, caretaking ability and your sweet, sweet heart that loves me and makes me feel safe and secure and loved. Wow. That was really nice. And well, you're so much better with words. Um, honestly, I just, I, I love, I, again. I like him. <laughs> I do. I do. No, no, no. I, I do. I love so many things about you. Honestly, like your drive, your um, ambition, I, the way you like protect our little family that we have. There's just so many things that I was looking for in a guy and you checked those boxes. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, so the next one is Sawyer's opinion. Is Angelique going to be Bridezilla? Yeah, possibly. No, this is a question for me, I believe. Um, it depends. If it goes according to how it goes in her head, it's going to be smooth sailing. If something goes a little wrong, what? Bride Zla. I think it'll be fine. I think, honestly, your mom and you will be able to, like, Bride Zilla alone oh, together. Yeah. And I probably won't have to hear much of it, which is nice. It's big, big, I appreciate that. My goal is to have everything really well planned so it all goes smoothly. That's how you end up Bridezilla, because then when things start falling apart, it's chaos. Yeah. I know. I, I'm, I'm really going to try. I'm really going to, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't predict the future here. When did, you, when did you know that they were the one? Can I answer that yeah, honestly? Yeah. Not that I wouldn't, but I honestly knew you were the one within a week of dating. Why? <laughs> Why? I which, wouldn't have known I was the one. Which now looking back is horrifying. <laughs> yeah, you had, yeah, you had low standards back in the day. No, 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 no. You're a great guy. I could also see through all the bullshit. Yeah, no, honestly, I, I I, just knew. And there was actually a really cute moment that happened. Right, It was a week of dating. My mom was there and Sawyer's mom was coming into town. His mom was actually coming up the stairs right away. I'm going to make this quick. And she was standing on the porch with me or on your balcony. We're overlooking LA, right? And my mom looks at me and starts bawling. I'm like tears streaming down her face. And I was like, what is going on? She's like, I'm just so happy for you. He's such a good guy. <laughs> and I literally looked at her. I was like, this is great and all. And I love this conversation. But pull yourself together. His mom is walking inside right now. So anyways, it was a cute moment. My mom knew too. For me, it was uh, when I'm quite emotionally unstable person. Uh, you don't always get to see it in the 10 minutes that I edit for you. <laughs> Um, but once I felt I had exposed all of my weaknesses and they weren't rejected, I was like, wow, she does love me. I do love you. Yeah. You say yeah. that again? I do love you. Oh, thank you. 
Um, this is from, oh, this is Ethan. You're a smart man. Do you recommend living with your girlfriend before marriage to test compatibility? I'll let you start. Okay. I honestly don't know how anyone doesn't. Like, there is so much you learn about somebody when you spend 24-7 with them. All their little, what are those? Idiosyncrasies. Yes, that word. Um... I, I learned a ton and there's things that I'm like, whoa, but I love him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> For me, yeah, homie, I do. Um, I heard this Jordan Peterson thing the other day that was brilliant, which is getting married without living with each other first is pretty much saying like, I know you're full of shit and you know I'm full of shit, but let's just send it and accept each other without knowing what you're accepting. Um, I think when you live with someone, like when things get stressful, you, you get a pretty good glimpse of, of who they are, yeah. um, which is important because, you know, they say for better or worse, but that's, that's kind of the key is when it gets really, really bad. Like, do you have the staying power? I think living together shows you you know, you might or might not, but at least you find out before they take half your money. Do you want to know something? Yeah. We've lived together for five years. Really? Yeah. That's a good bit of time. I know. Like, if I did that four more times, it's like, whoa, they've been married 20 years. Right? Pretty much. We're a fourth of the way there. Yeah, that's that's fine by me. Um, oh, sorry. I just saw the next one. I hear the Dutton Ranch is starting to offer weddings. Is that a real thing or are we just like, because we just saw yeah, the... I think if they saw it in the show and they said they're going to do weddings, but if if they're actually doing weddings at, at the Yellowstone Dutton Ranch, <laughs> if you're watching this, anybody from there, like, we'll do it. Yeah. 100%. We will do it. We love Yellowstone. I don't even need her approval. I'm willing to take take the L on this one. The L? Yeah. The loss of, oh. of choosing our wedding venue against I, your I approval. I love mountains. I'm actually the one. Uh, yeah. I like both. Anyways, I'd be down. Yeah, I'd be down too. Except we should Google search that. Uh, the next one is, how did you decide which ring to purchase? <laughs> I wasn't given a lot of options. Um, yeah, well, she's yeah. designed this damn thing in her head since she was like yay tall, probably smaller. Well, uh, so I, yeah. I had a shopping list no, for yeah, sure. No. Yeah, he definitely did. I may have dropped some subtle hints, honestly. Subtle hints? You drew schematics like you were Tony Stark making an Iron Man suit. It was like Mark 42 by the time we got to this ring. I don't know what that is. That's, yeah, don't worry about it. It's a lot of iterations of rings oh, led you. to this ring. Yeah, no, I, oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. Okay, it took me a second. <laughs> yeah, no, it definitely did. I, I did send him some specific ideas. I mean, I think it kind of goes both ways. I think a guy can fully surprise a girl, but I also think it's really sweet when you include him in it. And I think that's a newer thing, um, but yeah. Yeah, forget being traditional. That boat sailed a long time ago. Ooh, would you have picked a different ring? Uh, maybe a cheaper one, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty. I really, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad at how it all turned out. <laughs> Next question. Uh, how did you feel about how consistent Angelique was about getting a ring? Um, did you feel like I pressured you on a ring? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You were on this thing like me going trying to get a PS5 for Christmas. You, um, I, I yeah, admired it. You. Yeah, I admired <laughs> her sales approach, which was, I will bombard you with my salesmanship until you either leave the store or buy what I'm selling you. Um, I, I don't remember this. Yeah, I know, because it was just subconscious all yeah. the time and I'm very happy for it. I like where we are. I like my purchase. I don't need a receipt. I feel like I didn't actually bring up a ring until like it was when we were in Disney World. I found this ring designer and I was yeah, like, three oh. years ago. Yeah, and I didn't bring it up again. Yeah, I've I didn't, been bombarded for three years. I didn't bring it up again until last year. <laughs> it said, how did I feel? Okay, if, it, if we were at therapy, I felt proud of you and a little stressed out that you wouldn't let it go. And uh, it worked out, you know. It's blinding children with every left-hand turn. <laughs> Miss Olivia tipped in, is it going to be a big wedding or an intimate wedding? What do we want? Definitely more of an intimate wedding. Um, I think, if anything, we've learned over this last year, um, both been kind of tested with some mortality things in our family, personally and family-wise, and I just feel like it really... 
brought a light to how important family is to us. And so we just want it to be intimate and personal and have the most important people in our lives there. I mean, for me, like, yeah, I really want it intimate because like, I want the people who are my family, like as a child to be there. Um, if I started including everyone I know as an adult, like there'd be hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of people there that I'd want there. Um, so for me, I, I think we want like a little three day wedding where it's like maybe 20 family members on each side, everyone staying at the same hotel, getting to know each other and just having like a really cool little yeah. retreat of our wedding, if you will. Um, Okay, since you live in paradise, will you go to Tropical for the honeymoon or the complete opposite? I want to go to Disney World. Oh, we haven't even planned a wedding We're going yet. to Disney World. <laughs> We're planning our honeymoon? We're going to Disney World, um, and I'm going to get a churro. You know what's kind of funny is I don't want to go anywhere tropical. We live here. Disney I would rather, World? yeah, oh, and maybe France. No? I really want to go to France There's and Disney France World. France at Epcot. There is a Disney in Paris too. Oh, what if we do we, both? No, but no. why not both? Okay, can we fine. see two Disney? We'll both? Do both. We can see two Disney World. So two whatever Disney's. Yeah, sure. As long <laughs> as they have churros at that one, I'll be fine. They probably have croissant. <laughs> see what I did there? Uh, what were you more worried about getting wrong, the ring or the moment? No. Uh, knowing Sawyer, probably the moment. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't really care. I mean, the ring, like, dude, when that ring came in from jamesallen.com, I was like, well, there's no way she's going to say no unless I really piss her off. Oh, yeah. She just started doing the, the Chanel purse crying face. That and the face of the off. Um, I was actually really nervous about getting the moment wrong because the moment is everything. Like, the ring is kind of like proof that the moment existed, but like, the moment is the moment. Um, and I was super stressed because I didn't want her to know I was going to do it. Uh, the weather was turning on us. We were about to have thunderstorms. I was afraid the ring would fall out of my pocket or she'd hug me and feel it. Um, so I was just about as nervous as I could be for the moment. Um, JamesAllen.com pretty much sorted out the ring issue. I when that thing came in and I saw it, there was not a doubt in my mind you were going to love it. Um, thank you guys, by the way. I keep saying it, but I for it. real. I, 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 I she loves literally it. had no words. When the box opened, I was like, oh, oh perfect. Uh, where did you hide the ring? Because her ring radar would go off to sense it. Um, well, I've had the ring for like, like a month, a month or two. Yeah, or a month or so before I proposed. Um, I hid it in my gun safe. <laughs> I figured, why why would she go looking around in my gun safe? So that's where I hit it. And then when we proposed, um, we did two looks for our photo shoot. The second look we were doing, I put on a jacket. It, the box was in the inside pocket of the jacket. Um, and then I had to make sure she didn't hug me or she'd feel the box. Oh, yeah, like, uh, like, yeah photos, anything. You, like, you hug and you press, like, yeah, anything. so I was, I was sweating bullets. Um, <laughs> Is the ring better than what you dreamed of? Oh, absolutely. Like, I had pictured in my head. I've seen inspiration photos. I had all these, like, fantasies of what it would actually look like. Because, again, like you said, I kept saying, like, I want this and I want this. And I have these prong ideas and all these things. And he's probably like, what the heck? But when you see it in person, all put together, all my little, like, <laughs> all my little ideas. Everything together. All of the little bits of stress come together to create super stress. No, no, no. To create this masterpiece, yeah. it literally, like, I, I mean, my it really is. said it all. I was just like, oh my gosh. Plus the moment itself. Like, I could absolutely care less what the ring actually looked like. That moment was perfect. It could have been anything. But it was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot. It, it was like, I, I knew it would probably be pretty, like, because she designed it, but... Like I said, when it came in, I was just, yeah, I was just floored. I'm, I'm still floored. Every time I look down, I'm like, oh, every time I look down, I'm still, <laughs> I realized I was talking to the mic. I said, I'm still floored. Every time I look down, I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to wear this. Are we going to be getting a new vlog video of this new life? Yeah, probably. Like one, one vlog or like? I don't know. This is the, this is the chapter. Like before you were in the travel dating chapter, you got vlogs of that. Now you're in the engaged planning 
wedding chapter. So you'll, you'll get vlogs of that. And then hopefully we'll be in the married having kids section. And then hopefully you'll have vlogs of that. I'll be making vlogs as long as you're here to watch them. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be vlogging all like the girly stuff, like the dresses and the planning and all that. So you'll definitely have enough content. So tell them to subscribe. So feel free to subscribe. I'll put her <laughs> link down below. But yeah, Angelique is kind of spearheading uh, a lot of the engagement wedding planning videos. So that'll lot be on her channel. And then I kind of want to just start showing you guys life here in Hawaii again. So I'll be bringing that on my channel. Um, the second from last one. Second from last. Um, how long did it take you to plan the engagement, babe? Uh, um, I, I, I started planning the ring like four months out. And then when the ring came in, I realized I hadn't planned how I was going to do it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, no. So I was stressed because I didn't know how, but that's all in the last video. Um, I'd say it took about two or three weeks to plan everything, like how I was gonna do it, having the photographer fly in, and then the party we had at night. Yeah. Okay. Three weeks. Um, but it was a lot of thinking, and it was like one day of calling the photographer and being like, please, Jesus, tell me you have a couple free days before the year ends. Um, <laughs> the timing was perfect too, because like we got to see my mom here, and I got to see my family, and we're gonna see your family. Yeah, we got to share it with everyone for the holidays. Yeah. Um, oh, we're already on the last question. Yeah, because now's the logical time to do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now that it's over. <laughs> um, well, since we're done with the when are you getting married question, I think it's time we start with the next question that's probably going to come into our lives. Is this a baby question? How many times have you already been asked when you're having <laughs> babies? Uh, a lot. Our whole life you know, together. <laughs> Yeah, the entire entirety of our relationship. And yeah. now, now, well, let me say, since we got engaged, yeah. parents are relentless. Or not parents, grandparents. Because yeah. they're like, yo, I want to see my grand great grandkids. And you're like, yeah, give it time. And they're like, I don't have time. I want my great grandkids. And you're like, oh, wow, so this is some real pressure. So, yeah, um, I've been asked personally since we got engaged probably 50 times easily easily without online like this is from friends and family's mouths to my face which i just freeze in anxiety but <clears throat> you know i mean with online probably a couple thousand times already just since the engagement not like in our whole lives but just since the engagement so question yeah when do you want to have kids let's get married first okay i've got that i'm still a religious dude i still am going to try probably, to at yeah. least put things in a proper order but you know like if it happens it happens if it if whatever happens will happen um but i mean once we're married oh yeah i want to be i want to be married first too well yeah but like once we're married i don't really see a huge reason not to to be honest yeah that's kind of how i am i mean i want to be a mom and that's no secret to anyone so <laughs> well then i have i have a final question for okay. us um and we'll both answer but okay what what changed the most for you once we got engaged? That feeling of creating a family, like having that security and a partner and just knowing that we're each other's. I don't know. It's just that's something I've always wanted. And I love that feeling, like that security feeling. Um, and now we have that. And now I just feel like, we can talk about babies. We can talk about these things without that. Oh my gosh, is this going to happen or not? I know, but no, that's, that's something that changed for me. It's just something that's like more of an open dialogue now kind of opened up that window. Yeah. Same. Um, same with me. Uh, I think a little different for me or, or guys in general. I don't know. Just, I can only speak for myself, but like my mind tried to like block the marriage and kids thing because there was still stuff that had to happen first. Mm -hmm. So my brain was like, able to not look over there and keep looking over here. Um, and now that we're engaged and I've like fully committed my life to you, <laughs> it's like the wall came down over here um, and I'm able to look at it now and able to see the good, the stress. I'm able to see everything that I wasn't able to look at before. 
Um, and it's nice. It like made me feel like I grew up a little. And in fact, I might have. Um, but yeah. like kids don't scare me now. Now messing up kids scares me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, same thing. Together. But I just want to say, I'm so happy you said yes. Um, and I'll just let myself be vulnerable for a second. But like, I love you so much. Um, and I've clickbaited this on my channel like a million times. And the truth is I never was sure that it was going to happen with anyone. And the fact that it happened with you, I couldn't be happier. Oh, um, I love you. I love you. I'm probably wearing now lip gloss, but <laughs> it's okay. I'm engaged. I can do that, I guess, if I want. But um, beautiful ring, but not nearly as beautiful as you. Oh, um, <laughs> thanks, cheesy little boy. I love you. <laughs> thank you. Um, I, you. I just want to thank you guys for watching, uh, for making it this far. Uh, I didn't try to make it a super quick edit and like keep you entertained. Uh, this series of videos is for people who actually care uh, or who are part of our lives yeah. through being online and through years of getting to know each other through videos and comments and everything. This is for you guys and I really, really hope you enjoy it. And I'm glad that we can share it with you. And I'm glad that I'm talking to a therapist <laughs> about vulnerability. So I'm, I'm able to like give you guys the real yeah. deal. Um, we're couldn't be happier. Um, we're engaged. Do you remember our engagement date? Her the, eyes got the, big. <laughs> the fifteenth. Yeah, 16th? yeah. Uh, it's sixteenth. Sixteenth. Yeah. I, I remember because it was like. Really I had to have you say it, so I remembered. Um, yeah, sorry for shaming you, <laughs> but uh, so November sixteenth, two thousand twenty-one. We're engaged. Leave, leave in a comment down below what day you think we'll get married. And we'll see how right you guys are. But other than that, uh, I want to I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I love you all very much. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Um, and keep an eye out for our ring, the ring video. Because we're going to go fully in depth. And even we get, are? yeah, we're even going to get one of those little like eyeglasses that um, the jewelers wear. So you can like see all the <laughs> things inside the, it'll be awesome. I'm because I actually, I don't know these things. Yeah, and I've got but. macro photography lenses, so I'm about to break them out and have a good old time. <laughs> but anyway, we love you guys very much. Have an incredible rest of your day, and thank you for supporting us. We love you guys. Bye. Peace.